time for some mini golf. Uh, welcome back to the show. And uh, we were just playing some relaxing mini golf. And maybe it would be a good time to talk about different mini golf memories, you know, like uh, especially back in the 90s, 80s, and stuff. Like there was like many people who would do mini golf projects all over the place. There's a bigger urban area where I live, about 20 minutes away. And they, I think they still to this day have their mini golf area. Um, I've never been there myself. Well, this is a nice little challenge here. Um, you have to get the, the, the hole is actually like kind of like on a hill. Well, you gotta get the, that ball lined up just right. That's that's pretty challenging. Well, let's see. I don't know if that's gonna be good enough. No, that's not. But let's see. Okay, stop. Okay. Sort of floating in midair right there. Uh, uh, close. That's a good challenge. Oh, I see now. Basically, what it is is if you get it in the hole, it's going to go down a pipe and it'll head down to the, the real goal. But you know what? I like a little challenge. I like a little challenge here and there. And the answer is no, I did not get that. Uh, but, uh, you know, the, I remember there was a miniature golf place, like a little, just a little property, you know, close to a lake. And, you know, and, uh, you know, they used to, you know, they, they, there was a pretty good little place. They even had, you know, like slushies and stuff like that, you know, and it, it, it's it's weird when you go to a place when you're a kid and then that place doesn't exist anymore. But when you're like driving by, you know, you you still see that building off in the distance and you go, "Well, that's where I did this." And then it's like, you know, that's sort of like uh you know, it's just sort of a lost, you know, lost little fragment in time. Like the people who drive by that place every day, they have no idea. They just say, oh, it's just some building, whatever. You know, they have no idea. Oh, yeah, by the way, that was like a mini golf place, or that was an arcade, or that was a whatever, you know. It's interesting with things. You know, it's, it's that what they call the nostalgia, you know, the French originally. That was originally, you know, when people used to say nostalgia was never for... I have some doctors claimed that actually it wasn't a good thing, you know, that like French doctors back at like the Renaissance and stuff or 1800s, they actually called it nostalgia, you know, where you're reminiscing about things that aren't around anymore. And it's, Reminiscing about things aren't there anymore. Which is probably the whole premise of the show, really. I mean, there are times we break the rules and we play a modern game or something because, you know, I don't like to be cubbyhole, but, you know, you know, at Saturn Grout, our premise is we do try to give old games pretty much equal grounds with the new ones depends on the new game if it's just a there are a lot of new games that aren't working out good you know they're just you know just aren't you know that you know they're mostly just services or and then you know maybe they get like a little bit of attention or they Sometimes they require you to make a whole lot, uh, separate account, even though you already bought a sixty-dollar game. And I mean, I think I've talked about my issues with EA, and they they literally make you create an account to a thing called Origin, 
Well, you know, it's very easy to for a thief to steal an Origin account. All they need to do is contact support and say that they can't, they're locked out of their account or whatever. They forgot their password and they just get the right support person who doesn't care and that that's it you know they got your account and now they can play your games or uh, who knows you know there there may be in payments systems tied to that and they may be able to buy games for all you know and uh that's that's the shame of it all where you know I've I've literally gone on eBay and I bought old 360 games. I I got you know EA wouldn't like it. I actually own a lot of EA games here that are tied outside of that that old. They're 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 outside of the the era of Origin. I mean those games are not they do not require any kind of login. You know you put in Madden 2008. You just start playing it, okay? You know, like you just maybe go for a little loading and that's it. But unfortunately, of course, it's no joke. They don't allow you to uh, put these games into a, a modern Xbox because they, there's no backwards compatibility with it because they don't care about the old games. They don't make money on the old games anymore, so they they're just they're just not going to. Which is weird because those games sold really well. You know, you would think that actually they would do that, that they would actually care about that, but they don't care. They just don't care. And let's see where it's going to take it. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was nice. I got it right on that, that, that middle hole there, went down the pipe, and it went into the, right into the hole. That's 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 uh, that's some satisfaction. That's uh, that one was close too. I'm pretty good with the mini golf in this. Could, if I was stuck in this world, I I could I don't know. I could could this become a golf channel? <laughs> <laughs> that would be kind of something I've never expected when I made my first ever a video back in like 2009, I think it was, or 2010 when I made the the Kung Fu video. I imagine, oh, and someday it's just going to be a miniature golf channel. <laughs> like, what? Like, uh, like, what am I, what is it going to next be for? I'm going to do react videos of old Columbo TV shows or something like I'm, we're going to get into some real boomer territory with that. But uh, you never know. I mean, you know, you never think about YouTube channels, you know, like what, what they're going to be like, you know, like, I mean, some channels, you know, I've seen channels that have like over a million uh, sub subs. And after a while, the person just stops posting. They sort of, outgrow that they just outgrow it and they just even these asmr artists say they i mean don't get me wrong they're doing it they're doing it like they they're into it they're they're really into the art but then for some reason something happens where they just they just they lose that that love that creativity for the the craft and uh they just stop caring about it you know, you know, you never think about what well, what's a you my YouTube channel gonna be like in like forty years if as long as like it doesn't get flagged all the hell. <laughs> I mean, this channel, this channel's been everything. It's been a Christian channel. It's been a conspiracy channel. It's been a a, a video game channel. It's 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 been a little of everything, which is probably not good because it could be very well shadow banned, which is probably why you see zero viewers all the time. <laughs> probably there's somewhere somewhere in YouTube's like computer system. It's like probably in some database somewhere. You know, you know it's kind of in the dark right now. So <laughs> this. This mini mini golf has gotten kind of intense now. You know they have you like in a dark cavern, and that's that's great. 
Well, see you next time, folks. That's it for the show.